So this problem is asking how many carbon atoms are there in 200 grams of carbon dioxide. First of all, what do we need to figure out what is carbon dioxide? Since we have a dye in the name of the molecule, we know that it's a covalent molecule. If there's no prefix on the first word, then that means they're just there's just one of them. So that would be just C for carbon. And di means that there's two oxygens, so it would be CO2. That would be carbon dioxide. So let's start with our 200 grams of carbon dioxide. And in order to do this, I like, since we're trying to find how many atoms, we need to use our mole map. Or I like to use the mole map. There's lots of different ways to do these problems, but this is my favorite strategy. So if we start with grams using our mole map, the next thing we need to go to is moles before we can go to number of particles. So particles could be anything like atoms or um, compounds or formula units or, or anything like that. In order to use this mole map to get from grams to moles we need to use the molar mass and to get from moles to number of particles we would use Avogadro's number. So, since we're starting out with grams, we need to first convert to moles, which uses the molar mass. If we go to the periodic table, um, we can find the molar mass of CO2 is one carbon. So one carbon is one times its molar mass, which is 12.01. And oxygen, there's two oxygens. Oops. Two Go back. There we go. Two oxygens is two times its molar mass, which is 16.00. If we multiply that out and add it together, we get 12.01 and 32.00. And adding that together gives us 44.01 is the molar mass of carbon dioxide. This is in a unit of grams per mole. From here, since we have grams on top, we know we want to cancel out grams. So that'll mean we put the unit of grams on the bottom. And since our other unit in our molar mass is moles, that would be what will go on top. And the number always follows the grams for the molar mass. So we put the 44.01 on the bottom, and that's in one mole. So there's 44.01 grams in one mole of carbon dioxide. After that, we've canceled out the unit of grams. Now we're in a unit of moles. And Avogadro's number is a special number that is 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of something is equal to one mole of that thing. So Avogadro's number is kind of like, you can think of it as like a dozen, that if you have 12 of something, then you have one dozen of it. This is kind of just a really big number. If you have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd of something, that means you have one mole of that thing. So similarly to the last step, we want to cancel out our unit of moles. So we'll put it on bottom. And we want to go to the unit of the number of particles. In order to figure out what type of particle that we would put there, we need to figure out what is this particle we're dealing with. This is a CO2, so CO2 is a type of a molecule. So we'll put molecules on top. And again, the numbers follow the units. So the one goes with the mole, and the 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd goes with the number of particles, which is in this case molecules, so 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. 
Okay, that cancels out our unit of moles. And now we are in molecules of CO2. So we're almost there, but our problem is not asking for molecules of CO2. It's asking for carbon atoms. So now we need to figure out how many carbon atoms do we have in each CO2. Well, since there's no subscript, that means it's an understood subscript of one, which means that there's one carbon atom in each molecule of CO2. So we'll do one more step. This really isn't part of the mole um, of the, the mole map, but it's an extra step if you're wanting to go to like particles within the particle. So since we said that they're in one CO2 molecule, we said that there is only one carbon atom. So we put the molecules on the bottom so it would cancel, and we leave the atoms of carbon on top because that's what we want to convert to. So now that we've had it set up, we can grab our calculator, multiply by the numbers on top, and divide by the numbers on bottom. So we get 200 times 1, which we don't really have to do, divided by 44.01 times 6.02, 2 times 10 to the 23rd and then times one, we don't have to do those. So that gives us an answer of 2.73665 times 10 to the 24. And that is a unit of atoms of carbon. I don't really have room here, but let me round to, it, asks for, it gives us at the beginning of the problem one, two, three, four sig figs. So let's round to four sig figs. Is 2.73. Six is bigger than five, so round that up to seven times 10 to the 24, and that would be carbon atoms. So there we go. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to comment or send me an email if you have any questions that you would like to see a video on, and I'll do my best to put them up as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.